few years before The Matrix came out, this film comes out and completely changes the field of psychology. That is right, we have come to number 21, The Truman Show. What I mean by that is that before The Matrix, very few people, you know, would come with mental illnesses about thinking that they were in a simulation. So true for this as well, where before this film comes out, there really was no like mental condition of people coming and thinking that they were being filmed constantly, like they were part of a show and everyone was in on it. It's a real thing, you can go and look it up, it's wild. Of all of the Jim Carrey films from like the mid to late 90s, this is the one that holds up the best for me. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but most of his early stuff I don't think actually holds up all that much anymore, with the exception of maybe Dumb and Dumber. But this film still feels so prescient. Technology has obviously changed forever. We also live in a world now where people are constantly being filmed, and oftentimes you're filming yourself or filming somebody else. So the culture has changed, but the idea behind that of having your own autonomy, of breaking free and choosing, you know what, I'm just not going to engage with this world anymore, the way that it's been set up, I think is something that people can sympathize with still. This was just before reality TV like really took off as well, so it's very forward looking for a film from two years before Survivor comes out. The one moment that always gets me is when he gets into the boat and he's sailing off into the distance and then the boat just crashes into the set and he is now choosing like am I going to stay or am I going to go literally has a conversation with God to him there's a bunch of layers you can dig into within this film which is basically pitched as kind of a silly comedy but I think that director Peter Weir is smart enough to be like no there's there's a lot of thematic richness to this that we can really dig into that it does take the time to sit in for a while. And for me, I wonder if I would take the deal of being like, yeah, like I wouldn't really have any free will. I'm gonna be filmed all the time, but I have enough food, I have a job, I have loved ones in my life. Maybe I would take the deal and just like live the, the fakeness of the world around me rather than trying to go out and, and forge my own path. Uh, but that's me being super pessimistic. Anyways, what do you think about The Truman Show? Let me know down in the comments below. What's your favorite Jim Carrey film? Tomorrow, one of my all-time favorite Best Picture winners. <laughs> <laughs>